Hi guys, just want to come on and do a little live or do a little video for you guys. I am actually going, as you can see, I have a car seat and I have two different reborns. I have and I have a sleep preemie baby, and then I have a big, what you I guess you could say he's a toddler, a bigger six month size baby that's awake. Then I'm going to show you how to make your babies look realistic in a car seat. We are going to go ahead and get started. So I'm going to get started with this big guy first, just simply because the car seat's already set for him. So you want to make sure your baby's placed it to the car seat. And with him, he's an awake baby, so obviously, and on top of that, he's a smiling baby. So I would probably put his pacifier on just because of the fact that he is a smiling baby. Um, not, babies don't constantly smile. Um, also, you always want to make sure the straps are in the correct spot. So I will show you that here in just a second with him. Obviously, he's a little bit too big for this car seat, so. Ah. So. You want the straps to look like that, where it's in his armpits. Um, obviously, if we were to go out in public, obviously I would not want, this would not be make him realistic enough. So basically what I would do is kind of turn his head a little bit. And obviously I have, oh, dang it. I have a toy right here. So I would try and have it to where he looks like he's looking at the toy. So kind of kind of like that, because he's looking at the toy. And obviously, um, always, always, always make sure your baby is dressed for the attire. So obviously, he wouldn't be wearing this if it was the winter time here in Indiana, because it's extremely cold. So this would be spring summer and then obviously with him having one hand open one hand closed I would take a blanket and just kind of drape it over and just kind of drape it over just like just like that now he's perfect looks ready to go on and reward outing okay so now we're gonna get to a sleep baby. And because mine is a creamy size, we are going to make sure that we have our head support because obviously you don't want your baby to look like you don't have any head support. So we're going to go ahead and unfasten little Mr. Lincoln out of out of here because he's a he's my demonstration baby for a bigger awake baby. So I'm going to go ahead and put the head support in the car seat. It makes it so much easier when you have multiple car seats just because have them you don't have to preset them every time you go to use them but okay so as you can see this is little mr christian he's at a sleep preemie not micro preemie but he's an ex a sleep preemie so i definitely so definitely try and get him to where it looks like he's Like I said, obviously with him being so tiny, you obviously, it's... Okay. If you want, you can use... I would suggest if you have a silicone, I would suggest using um, the little protective cloth protective thingy for the seatbelt. 
like the belt cover things. Cause okay. Also, if you don't want to take a blanket, head, you know it's really sunny out. You don't want to take a blanket because obviously it's summer. Um, you can use hand mittens depending on how big the baby is. So with little Mister, with little Mister CJ here, you notice his head's not. His head's not straight. It's kind of tilted a little bit. And obviously with him, I'm obviously going to have a pacifier. Because obviously he's got an open mouth. So I would definitely recommend if they have a slightly open mouth or whatever. To, you know, with him, with him being small and him being a newborn, I would suggest maybe having a lovey. So that way he's got a lovey with him. Because some newborns like to have that security and the toy. Um, definitely hand mittens because his hands are oddly shaped. Um, so definitely would definitely have that. Once again, make sure the the uh, seatbelt is secure. And if it's like the winter time or whatever, obviously you'd want a blanket. So like today it's like in the 50s, so I, I would definitely have him with a blanket. Just kind of have his hand like that. So his head just puts a little bit more. And now you have a sleeping newborn preemie baby ready to go on the mummy. So if you guys have any questions, just um, comment or at least like. And I'll figure out a way to get you guys to be able to comment and all that. So. Bye.